Hello everybody and welcome to Tutorial Labs, the first video out of many. So today I'm going to be showing you in Photoshop how to paint basically. So if you have a tablet, as you can see up here with this little icon, you can activate that to enable pressure sensitivity, meaning I can draw light lines and then pushing hard on my tablet I can make bold lines. Let's erase all those. And then if you push this one here, so if you look up here, push this one here, the lighter you swipe, the more opaque your paintbrush is. The harder I push down on my pen on my tablet, the more, well, the less opaque these kind of lines get. So gentle strokes, harsh ones. So let's create a new layer. Boom, erase that one. So this is very useful in doing uh, skin tones. So if you get a skin tone you like, uh, let's go for slight towards uh, up here. So let's get rid of this um, op uh, opaque tool at the moment. So I got this tone. It's kind. Of, it's a high. Um, it's kind of a high high tone. So up here. Okay guys, so what you've seen me here do is paint layers and layers and layers of skin tones between light and getting darker. And the reason for this is so you have this kind of skin tone uh, palette when you paint. So you, if you want to, you can load this up, select the skin tone you want. Say I want this one and then carry on with your drawing on a separate Photoshop page, etc. I'm going to show you how to mix these colors, kind of blend them in. This doesn't just work for skin tones. You can use this with any color, obviously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in, to in into this section up here. And then if you select the opacity tool up here, boop, select the light color, and gently, so you see I'm very gently fading over this dark color, kind of blending them together. And if you want this does work the other way around, you can grab the darker tone and then run backwards over the lighter tone. That's what I do sometimes. And then we grab the darker tone. Well, the, this now it's the lighter tone because we're going over here. So you can see we're kind of... You may be able to actually hear my strokes on my tablet. I'm not pushing that hard, but I do have my setting set to firm so I push hard I'll have to push harder than most people will because that's how I prefer it and that's how I've got my tablet set up but as you can see we've kind of started blending these uh, so that I can blend them in a bit more like this etc and I can go all the way down I could do that or I could show you an example I made earlier so if I move switch to layer so this is an example I made earlier. These are, this is with a slightly different kind of skin tone. As you can see, this one is slightly more realistic in its kind of... Um, uh, well, it's not realistic, I guess. It's uh, a different type of skin tone you might you may use. So this is one I did, uh, I don't know, a few hours ago. As you can see, my light is... A, is if I... I don't know, it's unchecked. My light is actually quite a bit lighter than up here. And obviously, it's a lot darker, uh, a lot lighter from the dark section of down here. So what I've done is that same kind of blending thing I've done. Just grab the brush, gone, gone up like this. If I actually select the opacity tool, and so I've just kind of been doing this, these long strokes, blending in these sections. It doesn't take that much time, look, that's, I'm, I'm blending it in. So what I've done is I've made this section here, gone with the vector tool, gone across, and then blended this section in, as, as you can see. So that's how you kind of paint within Photoshop. If I were to make another new layer over here, zoom in, 
Now, all I've done is use presets. These are all presets at the moment. So this is the pressure. This is the opacity one. And then the brush I'm using, if I show you this. The brush I'm using is, where was it? 17. So it's here, it's like just under midway of your brush list, and it auto defaults to brush size 17. So do that for all of them. Oh yeah, look, it defaults to the, okay. So yeah, I, I use brush 17, and I'm currently on brush size 7, 70. So what you can do is, you know, I like using this brush for line art. So if I were to make, like, a nose. With my kind of eyes, I usually un I undo I undo a lot of my eye work simply because I don't think any of it looks good. As you can see, they're not they're not equal in any say any way. And that's something I recommend when you're doing paint or anything on Photoshop or any kind of online or well not online but any software. It's to undo, undo, undo. The more you undo, the better. And then, you know, you can create this, like, skeleton figure, I guess. But that's, that's a very quick drawing. I'm not, I'm not trying. But what I wanted to really show you was these kind of skin tones. If you want these skin tones here, if you want this palette here, then I will leave that in a Google Doc in the description below. Like, subscribe. It helps us a lot, make us know you're enjoying what we're doing, and until next time, bye!